Hello everybody. Today I will show you how to hack uh, motherboard of Hoover board. Uh, so let's see how it is running after the hacking. You can see uh, and uh, hear the sound how uh, smooth is uh, speed control. I am controlling this speed with uh, two potentiometers. One potentiometer I am using for the uh, speed, another I am using for the uh, rotation. I fix uh, the hoverboard uh, bottom of one trolley so uh, when you are uh, controlling uh, by remote uh, you can uh, move your uh, baggage from one place to another place is very easy if it's uh, remote control any luggage uh, same it is holding up to 100 kg weight when it is uh, running uh, uh, reverse direction then uh, uh, this is giving sound when is a forward side uh, uh, then only wheel sound uh, no other uh, beep i remove all the connection because uh, we need to remove the motherboard out of the chassis after uh, removing the connections uh, and opening the box uh, you can see the internal of the hoverboard uh, and this uh, gyro boards and the main processor they use ARM STM 32F103 ok I will show you a clear picture of the this microcontroller and now you need to install the ST-Link uh, utility simply type in the web browser utility ok select download software get software accept you need to create uh, one login then you can download the software after uh, downloading unzip the file and install the stlink uh, software okay is is installed these are the gyroscope uh, I remove the connection and uh, remove this gyroscope gyroscope uh, no more required I will use only the uh, cable connections and the plug for the gyroscope uh, there I will connect the potentiometers uh, this is a second gyroscope uh, both I will remove not required now here you can see I remove the uh, motor connections uh, this is uh, a three phase uh, DC motor main board completely removed bottom of the uh, motherboard uh, this aluminium plate uh, which is uh, used uh, for uh, uh, heat sink so different kind of uh, <coughs> ST link is available for uh, firmware uh, this one uh, you can get uh, 5 to 6 dollars uh, this one and this one is uh, cheaper this only 
two dollars is available on eBay and AliExpress and uh, this um, actually I use uh, this one is uh, uh, but this and this also working uh, you can use uh, any one which you want uh, this one uh, this is uh, different uh, so I will uh, uh, connect uh, my ST link C cable are connected here okay uh, just I put some masking tape uh, to enforce it not to loosen then here I use this header here so So you can see this uh, first one is 3.3 volt then switch clock and, uh, then ground and then this uh, white one is SWDIO and other side is connected to the uh, ESP link here you can see the pinout and the connections Link utility. Connect. You cannot connect to the target. Okay. Go to ST link. Firmware upgrade. Connect. Again, same message. Okay. In this position. Remove the USB and then reconnect. Okay, connect. Okay, now you will see here this serial number, version, everything came. Oh, upgrade firmware. Yes. Successful. Close. You can use uh, another uh, uh, ST-Link programmer from the ST-Link uh, website that also working. Download the program, uh, unzip, uh, then you can install this one. Okay, uh, program uh, down, download completed. Okay, unzipped, uh, installed. Okay, no need to uh, change the directory. Okay, keep the same directory what is uh, asking and uh, start.
uh, sometime readout is uh, locked uh, so you uncheck the box uh, then it can read from the board Okay, here after uh, connection, uh, uh, just uh, give connect command. It. If it is not connecting, okay, go to ST link upgrade. Uh, uh, it will not give the serial number. Uh, disconnect the USB, then again reconnect. Okay, then start connect. It will give the serial number and the version. Then upgrade. After that, uh, when you connect, it will connect with the your mother. After upgrade uh, in STM32Q programmer, go to uh, uh, left corner and uh, downside this OB. This uh, then uh, readout protection. Uncheck the box, then apply. After that, uh, you can upgrade your hoverboard motherboard. Okay, now uh, select the hex file, uh, which you can uh, download from the GitHub. Uh, thank you for the github uh, giving this much information it's uh, free you can download okay uh, unzip after that uh, uh, select the hex file and uh, start Connection normal connection okay. Now, uh, soldering is uh, completed. You can see here R4 pins are soldered from the back side. Uh, so, this pins uh, will use for firmware of the hoverboard. One more thing I did, I also provide power supply to the second side so when I connect when I connect my potentiometers to the other side let's see what happened okay putting the power supply Okay, then uh, connecting the power supply that stop even no control from potentiometer also going but no control okay. no 
switch off disconnect from this side and reconnect to the big cable power on So one time battery disconnect power off again disconnected it ok no power on moving speed very slow other side we can make the speed ok changing direction Uh, one thing more I want to add uh, if you are using potentiometer uh, use the uh, small cables uh, otherwise uh, use the uh, shielded cables because uh, of earth uh, sometimes it is getting tripped uh, then you need to reset again uh, remove the power supply and reconnect then it will start Thank you for watching. I hope you like. Uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Very low speed, both sides.